It is finally time to talk about this Stitch and Scream Along. I feel like together as a ghoul squad, we've been talking about this for quite a while and it is finally here. We are gonna discuss all of the details, the ins, the outs, all the fun things that are gonna be happening every single month for the entire year of 2023. So if you don't have a warm beverage, go grab that first come on back and we're gonna have a little bit of a chat. So like I said, this is a year-long crochet along. This is the very first ever year-long crochet along in the yarn dungeon, let alone a stitch and scream. So we have a stitch and scream blanket that we'll be making all throughout the entire year. And it is also a mystery crochet along. If you've never joined a mystery crochet along, basically how it works here anyways, you will be getting a part of the blanket every single month for the entire year. The basis of this blanket is I wanted it to be as easy as possible, beginner friendly. Like I want you at the end of the night to be like, yes, I am excited to work on this. A year is a long time, right? Like that is a very long time to work on one single project. Like I have done these before and sometimes I put them on the back burner because I just, it's not in view or I put it in a tote and I put it in the closet and then I forget about it. Like it happens, but we're going to try our best to not let that happen. We're going to do fun things throughout the year to help you remember to work on it. You'll be getting 12 different crochet stitches throughout the year and each stitch will be one square. Now, the reason I chose that is because I am not a huge fan of weaving in ends. I don't know about you, but like, it's just not my thing. And I knew me personally, if I had more than like 20 some squares that I had to weave the ends in for every single month, it just like didn't sound like a fun time. So again, going off the line of making it as easy as possible, we will only have 12 squares to put this blanket together Together, and there'll be two ends to weave in. One where you start, one where you finish, that's it. So even if, like me, you wait until the end of the project to weave in all your ends, it should be relatively doable. A couple of things that you're gonna need for this, First of all, make sure you're subscribed and you join and you have the notification on here because this is where everything is gonna go down. You're gonna know every single month when the brand new video comes out because there will be a tutorial of the stitch that we're doing and then also a fun little video like this, like you're watching Chit Chatting with me today about just a little bit of extras that go along with this blanket. This is definitely not one of those projects where you have all of 12 stitches right away, you know exactly what you need to do and you kind of just like forget about it throughout the months because you know you're not getting that constant reminder and everything again I'm only bringing this up because I personally have done this before so every single month there is gonna be a square that you get since this is a stitch and scream along there will be a spooky movie that we will watch together live as a ghoul squad here in the yarn dungeon so subscribing turning that notification on is gonna be extremely helpful first of all let me just show you this month's square so you can kind of get the feel of what what it's gonna look like, how big these squares actually are. So this is a 23 by 23 inch square. And let's see, do I have it the right way? The very first stitch that we'll be working up is called the spider stitch. As you probably have already guessed, every single stitch is gonna be spooky related somehow. Holidays that happen throughout the month are also gonna have a little influence on the stitches that we do for that specific month. And I just felt like, you know, spiders are just incredible and I love them. And there are so many fantastic movies that have spiders in them. But like, why not? Let's start off with a spider stitch. This is a super beginner friendly type of stitch, incredibly textured, and it's also very repetitive. So this is just, again, one stitch. So this entire square is gonna be amazing to work up as you're listening to a podcast or coming into the yarn dungeon, watching a movie, chit chatting live, and working on this, like it's gonna be very easy for you to multitask as you work up your square. Let's get into all the other things, the materials that you're gonna need. I have everything written down because I wanna make sure nothing gets missed. The entire blanket, it is a 92 inch by a 69 inch blanket. So it is a pretty big blanket. I mean, obviously you can tell. So it will be four of these squares across by three of the squares down. It's going to be a nice blanket for yourself. Really the goal of it is to have this killer blanket at the end of the year and you can be cozy and just like have a total movie marathon. Like that is what this blanket was inspired to be. The yarn that I'm going to be using is Wander Acrylic Yarn from 
Furls Crochet. The main reason that I chose this is because I've used it in blankets before. I know how it's gonna work up. It's really easy to take care of. These are my two colors that I'm gonna be using. This is Obsidian and this is the color Pomegranate. And it is a number four medium or a worsted weight yarn. You need at least two colors. So obviously this stitch I just did one color for the entire stitch, but there will be a couple of squares that you will need two different colors in order to work up the stitch. Minimum two colors, otherwise pick as many as you want. My plans are to alternate my squares between pomegranate and obsidian. And like I said, there'll be a couple of squares in there that have both of the colors in it. I have crocheted many, many squares and kind of like played around with this entire blanket and made it multiple times now. And I've been really, really happy with the results. I am gonna be crocheting this along with you, so I'm gonna make an entirely new blanket this year. So that's why it's great to have the notifications on because if you wanna join the live every month when we do a stitch and scream and watch a spooky movie together, you can come join the live, see me crocheting at the same time, or if you wanna like body double, you wanna crochet with me, excellent time to do that. Also, if you just wanna join to chit chat with other ghouls that are making this, like what yarn they're using, color combos, just chat in general, lives are fantastic. Also, I highly suggest that you kind of have an area for all of this stuff. So I have a yarn bowl that I'm gonna be using for just this project. Like this is my year Stitch and Scream yarn bowl project. Nothing else will go in it this year. My hook in here, the yarn, the tags that I have already used. I'm gonna save these as I'm going. And then a tape measure, and I have my little black sheep tape measure. Again, all of these notions are gonna stay in here for this entire project. This one, I ended up working on it just one evening. I watched the movie The Menu, which was hilarious, and just ended up finishing the entire thing. Obviously, everybody crochets at a different pace, but just in case you wanted a little bit of reference, it took me one movie to get this whole square done. And that was me not even really paying attention. Like, let's be honest, I got pretty into that movie, wasn't really crocheting the entire time. The hook size that I'm using is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. It works perfect with this Wander acrylic yarn. I think this one suggests, yes, it's a five millimeter crochet hook that it suggests for this yarn, but a few of the stitches that we're gonna work up throughout the year, it was just a little bit too tight, a little bit, it didn't like have as much drape. Like this is what I was going for. Like I wanted every square to have this gorgeous drape and like just imagine this as a blanket gonna be so cozy like it really is so that's why I was going for all of them so that's why I had to bump it up half of a millimeter there and I will definitely be changing my hook to go with every square since it is January and it's new year confetti I had to use my tinsel hook but this will change every single month so if you're part of the newsletter you'll see every single hook that I'm using for every single square. Not that that is important in any way, shape, or form. I just love and obsess over coordinating yarn with my hook, project with my hook. I just like all the things coming together. So hopefully you're still excited about this, but maybe you're just not entirely convinced with how you're gonna stay motivated for the entire year to work on one single project. Well, I have a chart here that you can print off that I am so so freaking excited. This is a sticker chart. Who does not love stickers? Obviously we have some bats, some spiders. It is designed to add a little bit of spooky into your yarn dungeon and hang this up. Like print this out, hang it up. There will be a new badge or a new sticker that comes out every single month. So if you got the newsletter or you already signed up for the newsletter, you got January's already. If you aren't signed up for my newsletter, don't worry, you can still get it. I have it on my blog right now. So you just like click on that down below, go to that page and there's the sticker, go ahead and grab that. I will be printing mine off on actual sticker paper to put on here and I have a spot in my yarn dungeon exactly, I know exactly where I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna be putting this in like a little frame without the glass and hanging it up. So it's like a fun reminder every single day of like, hmm, have I worked on this yet? I have two different hashtags that we can use specifically for this project. That way you can show off to obviously everyone, but especially the ghoul squads we can see the progress the different yarn combination what hook you're using like all of the things we all want to see all of the things for this project do have an official stitch and scream 
t-shirt. Let me show you close up here. Ball yarn crochet hook smashing through the TV screen. Probably one of my favorite t-shirts so far that has come out of the yarn dungeon. And there will be more added to this collection as the year goes on, which is another reason to turn on the notification bell. Don't miss out on any of the things that are added to the lineup for this year. Um, More about the Stitch and Scream. Like what happens at a Stitch and Scream live? Get together in the yarn dungeon, watch a spooky movie. And a lot of these movies are gonna correlate some way, shape, or form to the stitch that we're working on. So since this one is the spider stitch, obviously we had to watch something that had a spider in it. The very first one is going to be James and the Giant Peach because there is a kick-ass spider in that. Honestly, when I watched James and the Giant Peach for the very first time, which also if you have not seen that movie yet and like this will be your first time ever, please let me know that. Like, immediately obsessed, loved the character, loved the spider. If you also love claymation or you just wanna come and hang out and have a specific time for the month to work on your square, this is gonna be perfect. Again, that will go out. You can turn your notification on so you know exactly when that couple of hours is gonna pop up for the month. So as you're watching this right now, the tutorial for the very first square is out. Feel free to start today if you want to. Okay, so I'm gonna let you ghouls go for today. Thank you for hanging out with me. Cheers to a brand new year and a brand new Stitch and Scream along. I hope that you will join me and the rest of the ghoul squad to make this crochet blanket. But for now, have a fantastically spooky day and I will see you in my next video.